One of the most important things I learned in building my business, here it is. As many distributors, as many customers as possible to represent each distributor, and as many distributors as possible to represent each supervisor volume. As many customers as possible to represent the distributor, as many distributors as possible to represent the supervisor volume. Here's what else I learned. Mark Hughes knew it. All prospects are equal. There's a surprise a day waiting for you, right? When you recruit someone you think they're going to stay, they leave. Someone you think is going to leave, they stay. Here's what you say in both instances. Isn't that interesting? I thought, sure, they were going to stay. They left. I thought, sure, they were going to leave. They stayed. Here's what I've learned to do. Discipline your disappointment. Especially if it's someone you know and they try so little when they need to do it so much. I learned sometimes those that, are in, those that need it the most are inclined the least. Those that should, don't. Those that could, won't. Here's what we call that, mysteries of the mind. I don't know. Someone says, well, this product doesn't work for me. He said, it was designed not to work for some people. So, I don't know. Because I used to try to make everybody successful, found out that was impossible. I said, I'll make them successful if it kills me. I almost died, so I gave that up. Do your best to teach and inspire and instruct, and then just see what happens. Let yourself be surprised. So let me give you this quick list now as I wrap it up. Here's the first one. Have some patience, Mark said. Patience to work with a variety of personalities. Some customers are easy, and some are a pain. Some distributors are easy, and some are a pain. Have the patience, do the best you can. I know sometimes patience finally runs out, but until then, do the best you can. Next, you got to have faith to believe, faith in yourself, faith in the process, faith in the plan, faith in the products. With what we've heard now about products these last few days, and especially today, you can have faith that Herbalife's going to continue to have the best products available that science can possibly produce. Here's what's next. Learn to make wise decisions. Wise decisions about yourself, your organization, your family, your future. When Mark had been in business about two and a half years, he had plenty of money and he could have quit. Then why did he invest all those years from the time he made enough to retire? He kept on going until finally he died age 44. Why would he continue to do that? Here's why. He became financially independent so that he could then work for joy and not for necessity. I had that hop happy opportunity when I met Mark because I didn't need the money, but I did need the joy. I did need the challenge. And that's what's been exciting for me, to work here, not for the money, but for the joy. Next, consistency, day in, day out, Mark taught. Integrity, to maintain the company's reputation for the future so that those we recruit today will have a, a future for tomorrow and ongoing. Maintain Herbalife's integrity and your own integrity to do the right thing. The next word I want to leave with you is courage. Sometimes when it all seems wrong, you just have to stay in there and have courage to stay. Courage in public. Here's some of the most important courage. Courage in private. When you've got nobody to talk to but yourself, have courage to tell yourself the truth. Here's where I really am. Here's what I'm really doing. Here's what's really going on. That kind of courage will change your life. Here's the next one, courage to change. If you've gotten some information here already today to make some changes in your program, changes in your thought, 
changes in your philosophy how to do the business make those changes here's the next one courage to be silent when it's so easy to talk here's the big one courage to forgive if somebody you've been working with and there seems to be a little tension things aren't going well somebody asks you to forgive do that next the courage to risk like the farmer does every year planting in the spring risk your emotions and your time and your heart and to finish learn the lesson of the seasons do the work of summer Here's what summer's for, to nourish your values like a mother, give them life, to protect them like a father. Do the work of summer, staying the whole season, staying till it turns, staying till it happens. As you would protect a newborn baby as a father and nourish it like a mother, so treat your organization next in the harvest when it comes there's two things in life that are so important number one the full development of all your potential here's the next one the wise use of all your resources all those years ago i started teaching 70 10 10 and 10 don't spend more than 70 percent of what you earn then 10 cents for charity, 10 cents for active capital, which is Herbalife, 10 cents for investment capital. And here's the last season to finish. When the winter comes, hopefully you'll be prepared from what you've done before the winter arrives. But the winter of surprise, the winter of death, the winter of illness, the winter of difficulties, make this note, just hang on. You know, the winter cannot last forever. There's never been a double winter. Some are difficult and some are easier. There's never been a double night. The night only lasts for a few hours and then the day finally dawns and the shadows flee away. 